Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 802 for Technical and Vocational Schools. It's Unit 10, Lesson 2, Future Real Conditional. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 1, Students Book. You need to have it in your hand. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Four, a dictionary. All right, let's go to the lesson objectives. Number one, you should be able, by the end of the lesson, to use the future, real, conditional, and writing sentences. All right, so what is the future, real, conditional? That's a good question. This is an example for you. I, a degree, comma, I, a gap, have more chances, full stop. This is an example, but it needs something. Let's use the future real conditional. All right. If I have a degree, comma, I will have more chances. Let's take a look at another example. This is Nasser, gap, learn new skills, gap, he, gap, time, full stop. Now let's use the future real conditional. Nasser might learn new skills if he has time. Let's take a look at the third example. There is a gap. We, gap, late, comma, they, gap, be happy about it, full stop. If we come late, they might not be happy about it. So what is the real conditional? The real conditional, the future real conditional, is used to talk about what you think will happen in the future on actions you take now. So, in order for us to understand it fully, let's take a look. You have the timeline. It starts from the present, past, and future, right? So, the future real conditional is used to talk about what you think will happen in the future, okay? You see the X in there? That is the future. Based on actions, like what? Like study, like drive, like eat. You take now. So we have two things to, to think about. Now, okay, and the future. Let's take a look how it is formed. We have two clauses. First one is F close and the second one is main close. All right, so we start with F plus subject plus present simple, then the comma, Don't, do not forget the comma, then subject plus model plus verb, full stop. Let's take a look. If you exercise comma, you will be fit, full stop. This is the first example. Second one, if she calls, comma, he might answer. If they come late, comma, they might not find seats. So, the subject is here, you, he, they. Model is well, might, might not. You can even use the negative in this. All right, let's flip them. So we start with the more main clothes, and we end with the if close. Both are switched. Let's take a look. You will be fit. You started with the subject, model is here, verb, be fit. And verb is in the base form. You do not change it. So the base form of be is be. It comes in three forms. Am is an are. But after a model, we cannot use am, is, or are. You use be. So if, take a look. It's in lowercase, the I. Do not forget this. It's in the middle of a sentence. If you exercise, full stop. He might answer if she calls, full stop. Take a look. The I is lowercase, and calls is the present simple. Calls. She calls. You add the S. All right. They might not find seats. 
if they come late. Come late is also a present simple. All right. Now, let's do task one. Question. Fill in the gaps in the following. You have a mark of three. Number one, you have a gap. You read every day, comma, you will be smart. So what do you write in here? Quickly do that. Hmm. Time's up. Let's take a look. Ah, if. You use if in the conditional. All right, number two. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Number two. If it, gap, cloudy, it's my train. And you have to use B between the brackets. Okay. All right, let's take a look. If it is cloudy, it's my train. So if it is, this is present simple, it's my train, this is the future. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Three. If you sleep late, you might not gap early, full stop. You have to use wake up. All right, all right. Let's take a look. You might not wake up. You do not change it. It goes back to the, the base form of the verb wake. All right. So give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. You have to ask two. This is practice on future real conditional. In your notebooks, answer the following. A. Combine the two sentences, we have one and we have two, into one, into just one, using the future real conditional, like the example below. And we have an example. Henry takes the promotion, and this is a full stop. More nurses report to him. Our task is to combine them. Let's take a look. You have a mark of six to worry about. If Henry takes the promotion, and this is a comma, more nurses will report to him. Okay, so what changed? We have added F to make it conditional. And take a look at the H. It did not change. Why? Because Henry is a name. And proper names, you do not change the initials we have added a comma and what comes after the comma is the first letter in more but this time it is in lower case because it comes after a comma it is in the middle of a sentence so this is about it now ah i added well you see if you add well to report it happens in the future so you have two parts now, the present and the future. Okay, let's take a look at the examples that you need to worry about and do not forget the mark. Two, he has more administrative duties, full stop. He does not see patients as often. Three, Henry takes the job, full stop. Henry is not very happy. Four, he wants to keep working, full stop. He needs to find a part-time job. Now you have five minutes to do this and you have a, a mark of six.